I feel London. London. My name's Coogan Cassius, this is iFilm London. No introduction to the man on my left. Hard knocks is Spencer Fear on our, Spencer? I'm really cool, man. We's cracking. It's good to see you, Coog. Coog, are you training? I know. I, mean, I told you, I want the winner of uh, Fury and Chisora. Seriously, because <laughs> you remember, remember when he used to be Ricky Hatton's bodyguard? And I used to look at him and say, how the hell can this little fat man be anyone's bodyguard? And now you look in, now you look in condition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping that one in and all, all Spencer. Right. Spencer, talk to me about Hard Knocks. You've got a massive show coming up in a couple of weeks. Tell oh, me about it. Oh, man. F listen, man. Massive, massive show. Jackson and CQ versus Troy Chirin Pro. Two of the most avoided featherweights over the last decade. And now I'm, I'm, I brought them together uh, to get them to fight because I have to listen to the fans. You know what I mean? We debate every day on Facebook to, and, I, and I listen to you guys. So, I, you know what I mean? I'm doing this for you guys. Plus, we've got Darren Hamilton versus Clifton Mitchell's fire. You know that bacon dredge? You know Clifton Mitchell is a bacon rustafarian. He cuts off his dreadlocks and so can eat pork sandwiches now. You know what I mean? So um, Clifton Mitchell's got a fighter called Dave Ryan, who's a very good fighter, who's a middle area champion. He's coming all the way down. Fair play to him because he sold a lot of tickets. He's going to get his beaten by Darren Hamilton, Mr. R&B. And then we've got loads of guys. Um, Joel Catchpole, one of our good little prospects. Also got Alex Demagani. We've got a wealth of guys fighting up on the show. So it's going to be a great, great show. Come down because it's real. Remember, Boxing News said if Carlsberg, not my word, if Carlsberg made boxing shows, they'd be mine. That's all I gotta say. What? 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 Have you thought about Spencer Fear on TV? What's going on? Now you know what? I'm gonna leave that to you because you're doing a fantastic job. This guy, Guy Ryan Coogan. You know what I mean? Catch you, Coogan, Guy Ryan catches. And why are you not giving me the access? No access today? Come on. Come on, brother. Come on. No access today. What do you mean? No access. I'm not getting no, I'm not getting no access from I feel I'm I'm upset. I'm upset. He does a yardie, he does a hey, you, he's Indian yardie, he's the best one I've ever heard. Shut up your bumper clapping. You know what I mean? So, all right. All right. All right, listen. Darren Hamilton, Curtis Woodhouse, when's this going on? I know Curtis is fighting uh, Frankie Gavin, but when's this going on? When's it happening? Listen, man, the, that's the next thing. I could send that anything out on Facebook and it will just blow up. You know what I mean? I love all you Facebook guys. And it's the Facebook people that brought that one to my attention. I would like to make Curtis Woodhouse and Darren Hamilton, but Curtis has got to take care. Uh, he's got to fight Frankie Gavin. That's not no easy fight. I, I mean, I wouldn't want to be in the position. But... After that, who knows, man? We can make that fight happen. But really, bottom line is this. There's a little short guy who's his manager. He's a little short, ugly guy with a bald in hair who's right Sorry, now. people don't know Dave Caldwell you're talking about. Right, you see, you said it. You said Dave. Dave Caldwell. Right, I said he's short. He's ugly as well. Very, very ugly. So Dave Caldwell has got to take care of business out with his guy, his fighter, Ryan Rogues. Ryan Rogues, everybody on Facebook, everybody's around me, Coogan, everyone was saying to Ryan Rogues, the best of luck, go do the business, beat Alvarez, because I really think you can do it. Yeah, I mean, after that, when Dave Caldwell comes back, then we can sit down and talk business, Curtis Woodhouse can get an arson as well. What's, what's the deal with your Facebook then? Because I see you, you, you know, you had a pint of milk and you get a thousand comments, two thousand likes. What's going on? <laughs> no. what, you got, you got a, what, a fan page there? Yeah, yeah, listen to me. Number one is this. My fan, my, it's not a fan page, it's my personal page. But the thing is, I get so much comments on it and so much love because people know that I live, eat, sleep, boxing. This is all about boxing. So I debate with the greatest debaters. So all the guys who debate on my Facebook, I ain't even going to name no names because if I name anyone's name and then forget anybody else, they're going to get upset. But we, we, we do the best for boxing because we love boxing. Like Jane Couch. Yeah, you know I mean, she's she's another one of the gangsters who always writing on a page and 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 like Rick Gaja, Ben Dowie. There's too many names, man. I don't want to leave out nobody's name. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, you know I mean, Gavin Wright. Too many guys. Too too many guys. We just debate boxing because we love boxing. And without this, and the more people that debate boxing, yeah, you know I mean, it's the more that our sports can be in the public eye. So keep on debating what is great about our game. You love controversy, don't you? Controversy. You love. That's your middle name, isn't it, Fearon? I don't love controversy. You know what? I send that. The, I, all I do is send that little sprinklings. So if I send that sprinklings, it's not. Listen. If I debate something, I'm sending out something that people will debate on. I'm just sending out questions. You know what I mean? Not my opinion, I'm sending out questions. So people want to run with it and say whatever. Oh, this is your business. You know what I mean? Nathan Graham's going to win Prize Fighter too. So, you know what I mean? So, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going out and just, I'll, I'm not trying to be controversial. You know what I mean? But it's hard. It's hard not to be. You know what I mean? But we love this country. Buy your watch. Make sure that your watch has got, you see that? Go zoom in you know that. Make sure you spend 15 grand on your watch and that your watch is you show patriotic because you know what they say like red white and blue because the red is for everyone because we live in a multicultural society and i love great britain later you know what that's the easiest interview i've ever had to do thank you very much coon cast is with come here spencer 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 i'm spencer Ferron and you're watching i films for london i love you guys all you guys thank you and praise god 
Eiffel. Blond, blond, blond. Eiffel. Blond, blond, blond.